Hey yogis, it's week four and today we are going to hit the mat with some grace, with some style, with some dignity, with some poise. We're going to do warrior one, warrior two and we're going to reverse the warrior out. Um, so I would advise watching the video uh, a few times just to check out placement of my feet in each of the postures, placement of my hips and my shoulders and my arms and then get up and, and do it with me. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so to come into our warrior poses today, start at the top of the mat and get a feel for that connection between your feet and the mat. Really important to really ground down and feel earthed. Take your hands to your hips and in a moment you're going to step your left foot back and turn it out. Now with warrior one, we want to square the hips and the shoulders forward to the front of the mat. So if you need to play around with the positioning of that back foot, maybe turn the toes in a little to do that, then do. And then on an inhalation, reach your hands up above your head, like reach into the fingertips, but keep your shoulders soft. And if you feel yourself turning out to the left side, then take the hands to the hips, feel yourself roll that left hip forward, and then hands up above the head, shoulders and hips square to the front, and just breathe some nice deep breaths here, strengthening the legs, lengthening the upper body, and then to come into warrior two, float the hands to the hips. Now open yourself to the left side and even let your left toes turn out a little. Right hand to the right knee to squeeze it out slightly so you can see the right big toe. And then take your hands out shoulder height. The palms are facing down about shoulder height. And finally gaze over your right fingertips. You're pressing down through both feet, not just that front leg. And feel that strength that you're generating in the legs. Yeah, and let your shoulders just drop down the back completely. They're soft. That steady gaze in front. To reverse the warrior, flip your right palm towards the ceiling. Left hand down the back of the left leg. Reach that right hand up and over. Length through your right side waist. Beautiful. Take your hands to your hips. Squeeze the right leg straight. And we're just going to step that left foot forward. And we swap sides. So let's do all of that on the second side. We square the hips forward. So internally rotate the right thigh. When you feel square and take your time, then you'll reach your hands up above your head on an inhalation. Again, there's that firm connection between your feet and the floor. Really emphasizing that. Even spinning the little fingers in towards each other so the upper back is broad. And to come into warrior two, lift a little, open your hands out to shoulder height, your hips and your chest open. Gazing over your left fingertips, make sure you're squeezing the left knee out to the left. And dropping the shoulders down the back. That gaze is just over the left fingertips. Left palm flips up. Reach up, breathe into your left side and then left hand to the hip. Squeeze the left leg straight, let's step forward. Okay, so again, there's that firm connection between the feet and the floor. Now in a second, I'm going to turn into my warrior two just to show you how I want you to position your shoulders Yeah, in these warrior poses, this feeling of being fairly relaxed in the shoulders. So I'm going to step my right foot out, open my hips and the chest to the side. This is warrior two. I'll take my hands out shoulder height. Now, just watching what I do here, not do this. Let's really relax the shoulders down the back. Yeah. Have this feeling throughout all of the warriors. And well done. So guys, while you're practicing the warrior poses this week, just be mindful of placement of the feet, really earthing down through the feet to find that firm connection. Uh, placement of hips in each of the postures, shoulders, keep your shoulders nice and soft to balance out that strength and softness. And uh, next week, we're actually going to revisit the warriors, but we're going to put them together a little more fluidly and we're going to move with the breath. It's a really nice one. So I look forward to seeing you for that next week.